Well hey guys, in today's video I've got an update for you all on minoxidil, a few more pointers about how it works and what to expect with it. Today's video is sponsored by iRestore, maker of my hair regrowth system. Okay, I know a lot of you guys are coping with pattern hair loss. It happens in both men and women. It's related to our genetics. For whatever reason, the hair follicles, they're very sensitive to hormones, and as a result, the hair miniaturizes into what's called a vellus hair, and that results in thinning and balding. Now, the FDA-approved treatment that you can buy over the counter for pattern hair loss for both men and women is minoxidil. There are a variety of different brand names that minoxidil is sold under. Minoxidil is a medication that you apply topically to the scalp. How does it work for pattern hair loss? It works by gradually increasing the duration of the growing phase of the hair cycle. And with time, it results in an increase in diameter of the hair follicle so that those miniaturized vellus hairs become uh, long terminal hairs. First thing that always scares people is that in the first two to three months of using minoxidil, you're actually going to experience an increase in hair shedding. And a lot of people become alarmed by this. They think that their hair loss is getting worse, but it's nothing to worry about. It's to be expected and it's not true hair loss. It's merely the fact that minoxidil is stimulating the hairs in the resting phase to enter the growing cycle of the hair cycle, the growing phase of the hair cycle. And as a result, you're gonna experience shedding. Two to three months into using minoxidil, that hair shedding will begin to stabilize. You'll start shedding fewer and fewer hairs each day. And you'll notice that the miniaturization and the thinning of your hair, it kind of starts to slow down and trickle to a standstill. 40 to 50% of people who use minoxidil will actually start to experience an increase in hair density and hair regrowth around six to eight months. And of course there are some side effects with minoxidil. While it is very safe, you can even buy it, you know, obviously over the counter, you don't need a prescription for it. Uh, side effects can occur. Most commonly, that's going to be some type of contact dermatitis, whether it's just irritation, or in some cases, you can develop an allergy to the ingredients in minoxidil. Some of the formulations of minoxidil have propylene glycol as they're in, in the inactive ingredients, and that can be drying and cause some irritation for people. It varies from person to person, of course. And sometimes people report feeling lightheaded. For whatever reason, this side effect appears to be more common in women, but it's not dangerous. Around 40 to 50% of people will begin to notice an increase in hair density around six to eight months, and then they will continue to note increased hair density until they reach their own maximum. And that's gonna vary from person to person. Unfortunately, not everybody gets good results with minoxidil. For whatever reason, some people just don't experience the improvement in hair density when using minoxidil. Patients are not satisfied with it. It may be due to some underlying genetic variant that makes people less responsive to minoxidil, we don't entirely know. The key with minoxidil is that in order to maintain the results that you get with it, you have to continue using it. You can't just stop using it, start using it. You have to be really, really consistent. Now, if you do choose to stop using it, what's gonna happen is you are actually going to experience hair shedding because minoxidil, it doesn't cure the hair loss per se. It doesn't stop the hair loss process. Androgenetic alopecia or pattern hair loss, it is progressive hair loss. So when you stop using it, first you'll experience hair shedding as those hairs you know, cycle off and go into the resting phase, and then you will experience miniaturization again. And a lot of people feel like, well, I stopped using minoxidil and now my hair loss is worse. But to be clear, it's actually a myth that minoxidil worsens hair loss. A lot of people stop minoxidil, they experience all of that shedding as the hair cycle rearranges a bit, and then they know that they have more hair loss, a lot more balding, the hair density is significantly thinner than before starting treatment with minoxidil. And a lot of people mistake that for that minoxidil worsen their hair loss, but it doesn't. Minoxidil doesn't cure the hair loss, it doesn't halt it, it doesn't stop it. When you stop minoxidil, the hair will return to the point where it would have been had you never started treatment. Because pattern hair loss is a progressive hair loss and minoxidil doesn't cure it. So when you stop using it, when you stop applying it, first you experience some hair shedding as the hairs are rearranging, and then those hairs miniaturize because that is the nature of the hair loss process. So in summary, it is an effective, safe treatment to use. There are side effects of irritation, but you do have to use it on a daily basis in order to maintain the results that you see with it. It doesn't 
cure pattern hair loss. And of course, not everybody even gets good results with minoxidil. A lot of people remain dissatisfied. So what is an alternative to minoxidil? Something else that can help with pattern hair loss? In addition to minoxidil though, we also have low level laser therapy. What is low level laser therapy? It's red light that uses photobiomodulation in which your hair follicle converts the light to energy that improves blood flow to the follicle up to 54%, and that brings in growth factors and nutrients to support a healthy hair follicle and begin to help revitalize the hair follicle. Clinical trials have confirmed the efficacy of low-level laser therapy for pattern hair loss in both men and women, and it is being offered in hair loss clinics across the country as an adjuvant treatment for pattern hair loss, something that is done maybe in addition to other hair loss treatments. Who can benefit from low-level laser therapy? Both men and women. And while it is most evidence-based for pattern hair loss, it also can benefit a variety of other types of hair loss, like if you are undergoing a lot of hair shedding due to stress or hormonal hair loss, it can help as well. When it comes to hair loss, first and foremost, you wanna see your treating healthcare provider to evaluate the hair loss. Make sure that there are no underlying medical problems that are causative or contributory. Take a medication history, as some medications certainly can lead to hair loss. So that takes priority. But once you have the diagnosis of your hair loss, you and your healthcare provider can begin to discuss appropriate treatment options. We already covered minoxidil for pattern hair loss, but low-level laser therapy is an additional treatment option for pattern hair loss in both men and women. And we have clinical trials that support its efficacy. What about using low-level laser therapy in combination with minoxidil? Can that be something that you can do? Do both. Absolutely, randomized controlled trials actually support the efficacy of this and show that while both treatments independently are effective, when used together, it appears as though they exhibit synergy, meaning together they are better than either one on its own. And this is especially useful for people who got suboptimal results with either minoxidil or low-level laser therapy on its own. If you think about it, the topical minoxidil, it actually has to get into your scalp. And again, maybe there's some genetic variability in terms of relative sensitivity to it and why some people respond better to it than others. But if you take that response and then you add on it another mechanism through low-level laser therapy where you have an increase in blood flow to the follicle, bringing in more growth factors to support that healthy follicle, well then you can see how the synergy would occur and you can get an improvement in hair density and hair regrowth when using both together. Low-level laser therapy, again, is something that is offered in dermatologists' office across the country, hair loss clinics, but you can also do it in the comfort of your own home, and there is good research to support that this is an effective modality when used alongside other hair loss treatments. There are a lot of low-level laser therapy devices on the market. In the description box, I'm going to link a video that I did a few years ago comparing the different ones on the market. And far and away, my go-to recommendation is the iRestore Hair Regrowth System. Why? Well, it combines both lasers and LEDs. And you may ask, well, are LEDs actually effective? LEDs stand for light-emitting diode. LEDs are an effective way to deliver the red light energy, and this helmet combines not only LEDs, but also lasers. And the advantage of combining both lasers and LEDs is that lasers, they kind of just get a spot focused area and they can penetrate the scalp very well, but you have some skip areas. So if you only have lasers, you're not really getting as comprehensive coverage. Adding the LEDs in there gets you more comprehensive coverage. Plus, I love the overall design of this helmet. It's really comfortable to wear. I'm just gonna fire it up here. It plugs into the wall. And then to get started, you just press the power button. See? Now, this is gonna go for 25 minutes. You just need to do it for 25 minutes every other day. How long till you start seeing results, you might wonder? You can start seeing results actually in as early as six weeks in some cases. Now, you'll notice after about two to four months of using this that you will see a decrease in the rate of the hair thinning and the decrease in density. So that'll kind of stabilize. And then with ongoing use, you will begin to notice an improvement in thickness and density. You have to be patient with it. You may not start really seeing good results until you know, six months. But if you continue using it, you can continue to experience an improvement in overall hair thickness and hair density. 
One of the reasons I love the iRestore Professional Hair Regrowth System over others on the market is that they have a 12 month money back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied after 12 months, you can send it back and get your money back. That is key because you know, you should see results at that point. And if you're not satisfied, well, then you can get your money back. So I think that in and of itself really just speaks to their overall integrity. The other reason I like this device is that it's FDA cleared and it has 282 lasers and LEDs. And in order for one of these devices to really be effective, you know, you need at least 100. So it has a good amount and you get really good coverage with this helmet. It gets the back. Other devices on the market, they're more of like either a headband form or they are like a baseball cap and it misses, it kind of misses the this part of the scalp. Now, if you stop using it, the hair loss process, again, it will proceed as it would. This does not, you know, cure you of having pattern hair loss. It merely helps to support hair follicle health to get you increase in hair thickness and in hair density. Now, if you're gonna make the investment in this, I suggest that you take before and after photos. Take a photograph before you start using it and then take a photograph again at three months, again at six months, nine months, and maybe even at you know 11 months. And at that point, if you're not seeing an increase in hair density and hair thickness on photographs, well, then you, know, you may end up wanting to send it back. But keep those photographs because it's a very slow process and you may not really appreciate much of a change yourself. And it can, you know, having hair loss, it's very distressing. It really affects people's self esteem and overall emotional well being. So, having that documented evidence of, the, of how the treatment is is affecting your hair growth journey, I think is key. And you may be, you may be feeling like, eh, is this really doing anything? But when you see those photographs, it really, can, it really can instill a lot more confidence in the treatment that it's working. You don't have to use this with minoxidil, but again, people who use the combination often can see better results because of that synergy. Now, if you use this and you decide that you want to add on minoxidil, say you haven't been using that, well, you can add on the minoxidil, but do know that the minoxidil will cause an increase in the hair shedding in the first three months, as I said at the beginning of the video, but that is not the hair loss getting worse. It's not that the, that the um, eye restore is making the hair loss worse. It's just part of how, again, the minoxidil works. I've been using this for a couple of years now, and I definitely have appreciated an increase in hair thickness and density. Many of you guys have commented on it. I've continued to use it. I, at this point, I don't use it every other day. I just use it like a few times a week myself. But when I was doing it every other day, I saw an improvement in hair thickness and hair density probably into, you know, I have to go back and check on the video where I documented my, I think it was my 18 month update. So I'm gonna link that video down below, but I do continue to use this. It's safe to use, it's easy to use, and I have experienced great results with it personally, and I do recommend it. Given that it is such an investment, here are my tips. First of all, make sure you have talked with your healthcare provider, your doctor, maybe gotten a referral to a dermatologist to evaluate your hair loss and to determine the diagnosis. That is key. And then discuss with them if this is something that is going to be right for you. And if you choose to pursue this, then I do suggest taking before photographs and documenting your progress along the way. That way, if you're not satisfied, you can return it and get your money back. But if you wanna get started with the iRestore Store today and use my code Dr. Dre, you can save like hundreds off of their hair regrowth system. So thank you iRestore Store for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.